Welcome everyone to today's planning briefing. My name is Leanne Allegretto and I'm coming to you from the National Weather Service in Missoula. I'm going to be discussing the next few days worth of weather and impacts, so let's get started. The main points, uh, for the next couple of days, at least through Tuesday, we're expecting rain below 5,500 feet and light snow above 5,500 feet through Tuesday. And I'll show you why. There's a pretty unseasonably cold dome of air making its way into the northern Rockies beginning tonight and as I record this it's Sunday so that should last through Tuesday however the unseasonably cool temperatures will be felt all Monday and all of Tuesday even going into a little bit on Wednesday we're expecting unsettled conditions through Wednesday including thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening and lo and behold we get a break on Thursday one whole day <laughs> and then uh, slightly drier with warming temperatures during this time frame and then thunderstorms return to the forecast Friday into next weekend. So here's our weather threat matrix and what we're looking at. As far as impacts and threat levels, you can see most of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday are low threats for a variety of things. Thunderstorms, wind, snow at passes, uh, snow in the higher terrain. Thunderstorms on Wednesday, we get that one day break on Thursday, and then we're back to thunderstorms on Friday. So here is, as of right now, the recording of this presentation. This is the current satellite loop covering the Pacific Northwest, and the heavy, heavy rain of the past two days has finally exited to the east with the cold front. You can see there's a little bit of dry air to the west in uh, eastern Washington, eastern Oregon, and that's going to actually be ushering in that cooler air that's going to cause snow levels to drive down to 5,500 feet. And this graphic here shows temperatures at about 10,000 feet, and you can see, you don't even have to look at the, the number itself, you can just see all that warm air to the east in the yellows and, and reds that are off screen, and then all the cooler colors of the blues right over us and most of the Pacific Northwest. And that's what's going to cause our snowfall down to around 5,500 feet. And generally speaking, we're looking at one to four inches of dusting, uh, around 5,500 feet, slightly more as you go higher. So about that one to four inch range for snowfall. There are locally higher amounts possible in the Clearwater Mountains of Idaho. You can see the brighter bands of yellow down by Riggins and Grangeville. And of course, everywhere can expect windy, raw, and cold conditions Monday through Tuesday. And, and when I say cold, cold in the mountains, but cool down in the valleys and the lower elevations. How cool? Well, this is a graphic comparison of high temperatures. Monday's graphic is on the left. Tuesday's graphic is on the right, showing high temperatures barely making it out of the 60s across the board. Some places, the higher valleys are struggling to get you know, out of the 40s, such as Dixie. Uh, a lot of places are struggling to get to 55 degrees, like Anaconda, Butte, uh, Pole Bridge, those sorts of areas, but overall we're going to hang in the in the low to mid 60s for high temperatures Monday and Tuesday in the valleys and even cooler as we go up in elevation. These are low temperature comparisons Monday night on the left, Tuesday night on the right, and you can see there's some freezing marks. Dixie, you're down to 26 degrees, the mountains in and around the Clearwater and Bitterroot Mountains, the Anaconda, Anaconda Pintler, excuse me, they're all below freezing at this time, so you know, unseasonably cool. It's going to hang on to that dusting of snow that we get, but we should start to melt it back off pretty quick because we do expect a gradual warming through the week back to more seasonable levels. Uh, just because we have snow in the forecast does not mean we will not have a chance for thunderstorms, and it is going to be unstable both Monday afternoon and evening and Tuesday afternoon and evening. So another graphical comparison showing you the probability of lightning and you can see the highlighted areas are down in the Beaverhead Deer Lodge southwest Montana into central Idaho Lemhi County area um, around the Clearwater Mountains again uh, both of those areas have a chance to see some lightning out of thunderstorms that develop in the afternoon and evening and it's overall just a generally unstable pattern so you know regardless of the precipitation type you can have thunder so expect that or at least a chance for that and I mentioned the one day break we get and that's Thursday so I wanted to highlight the uh, minimum relative humidity for that day just to give you guys an idea of um, how dry we'll get as far as percentage for relative humidity and 
Not all that dry. Some places drier than others in the 20% range, but overall 30s and 40s across the board. So this is a graphic showing the break on Thursday, as you're seeing, and then the redevelopment of unstable conditions on Friday afternoon. And you can see the green that blossoms across southwest Montana, central Montana, and central Idaho on the Friday afternoon and Friday evening time period right there. And, um, you know, we're just looking at a return of a low pressure system driving instability and moisture into the form of thunderstorms. So we'll remain seasonable in temperatures, but we will start to see that threat return. How do we look going out six to 10 days? Well, we stay above average or above normal chances for above average precipitation, but we're right in the equal chances or near normal for the six to 10 day temperature outlook. That does change quite a bit if we look out eight to 14 days. We're still in the above normal precipitation range for this time period, but we do start to warm up quite a bit. And we expect that as we get closer to the beginning of July, we start to really warm up around here. So um, that's indicative according to this graphic on the right, the eight to 14 day temperature outlook. So still wet, but getting warmer. And that's it. Uh, next briefing, we'll see you on Thursday, June 22nd. And as always, if you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you.